So then, we are back with more understandings from the time of the Second Tabernacle Services where we find in the Aramaic, English translation of the word. This translation comes from the original manuscripts of the prophets of the Itzaelic lineage. So then we can understand the time of the end as per the great prophet Yerushiahu because he did explain tabernacling regarding the Creator. He was explaining then the 61st chapter where we find then the cities of the Messiah then laid waste for many centuries. And there is another layer in Ezekiel the 38th chapter, 5th verse where then those layers are then perfectly aligned However, in distinct times, as we understand Yerushiahu and Ezekiel, they did not live at the same time. Because we have understandings of distinct prophets. So then, from the viewpoint of distinct times where those the scriptures were then recorded, we then start our quest, then observing what the Creator has for the world in the future. Today is the Holy Shabbat and we are in the first year of 7013 where then we find ourselves during the time where then the Creator decided of having a special celebration of the Exodus from Egypt reminding every person there were no plagues upon Egypt. Those were mere dreams of the Pharaoh. But then later the Creator decided of having a celebration of the time where then He Himself as their Savior saved them out of slavery. What can we understand then from the time of restoration where we find then the cities of the Messiah then laid waste for many centuries then returning we find the land of Cush both prophets explaining the same layer regarding the time of restoration Ezekiel 38 5 regards then restoration restore then it states devastation those are words then regarding the time of restoration the first holy city in the land of Cush, northern Sudan. Then we understand tabernacling. Then we understand the first son, Ishmael. Then the Arabs in charge of the crude. So then we understand the land then in northern Sudan there is a section of it over there that's going to be holy. Then we find the sons of Ishmael having the first contact with the sons of Yitzhak. So then you find the Ishmaelic lineage then dealing with Yitzhaelic lineage. Thus starting the relationship of the sons of Ibrahim. So then from this viewpoint let's understand then what is true and what is false. 2 Corinthians 11.4 Shaliak Shaul was there in Corinth then revealing Galaim Ruach HaKodesh to the set apart. Some of those were then functioning, some of those were not functioning. So then let's verify what Shaliak Shaul said regarding 2 Corinthians 11.4. But if any of you comes to you or any of you listens to any person speaking of you of another Messiah, another gospel, another spirit whom we have not tabernacling you. Because the Messiah was not speaking of the Messiah as a person, he was speaking of tabernacling. However, if you hear any other person is speaking of a spirit or any other kind of a savior or any kind of a gospel that does not relate with tabernacling then you have the false understanding. So then we find our country in a very dire situation we are not taxing as we should 
Our debt is tremendous and we are linked up with Israel and they are not tabernacling. Let me ask you this, are we sane or insane? What has Shaliyah Shaul said? If we hear any other person speaking of a Savior not tabernacling, then it's pure insanity, lunacy. So then the entire land of Israel at the moment, they are lunatics. Because they don't understand tabernacling. And we are already 2009, 2010, 2011, 40 years. You are behind schedule four years. The seat had ended in 2009. We've entered the era of the dragon. Because we have to deal with the world, the sin, the junk of the world, condemned. And the Messiah is tabernacling. He did not come to save the world. He came to save the people in a condemned world. The world is condemned. He's not going to save the world. Otherwise it would not make sense then in Luke finding then the rain of sulfur coming upon the earth. Either he saves the earth or he destroys the earth. So then, our president went over there in the land of Israel and then what did we get? Came on, the American Online, then Obama wants to go against Iran. Now let me ask you this. As far as our finances are concerned, as far as the time of restoration, as far as tabernacling, why were we there in the land of Israel if they are not tabernacling? Not only we give our money away, but then we buy somebody else's fight. Can we fight against Iran? We do not have even our taxation organized. Our relationship with Israel has made us bankrupt. It's not Israel, it's Israel. We are bankrupt because of them. Thus we understand, if any person comes to you, proclaiming to you another Messiah, another person, other than tabernacling, then it's insanity. We've become an insane country. There we are. We went over there in Israel and what have we received? We have received demonic directives to go against a country where not even the scripture is stating to go against a country. What has tabernacling taught us thus far? Time of restoration. It's not time for war yet. And the Creator wisely included the Gentiles. Does it not Yeshiach the Prophet said even the heathen would understand tabernacling and would contribute? Now then, we go to the land of Israel and then what do we get in return? Fight against Iran. Are we insane? We are 40 years behind schedule. At the moment 2009 was gone, the seat was gone. Time of the dragon. Precision. So when you read Galad, the 20th chapter, then you understand the many names of Nahashtan. Understanding the names of the Creator and the names of Nahashatan, because we are dealing with tabernacling and a holy name 
and the level of Gentiles. And there is a leader of Gentiles. His name is Nahashatan. If you like his title or not, it's not the point. But because of the layer of the Gentiles, he has decided his name should be given as per a certain understanding of layer than related with time. When the atomic bomb then is released, as we understand, it's going to be a hundred megatons or above. Then, Satan, or the adversary, the destroyer, is going to be then released. The sole function of a destroyer is to destroy the holy cities. We are during the time of dragon. And we have come out of the time of deceit for a thousand years. Couldn't be any simpler. But what have we done as a nation? We go to the land of Israel, it's a piece of a cursed land because it does not have tabernacling. Any piece of land without tabernacling is cursed. A hundred percent cursed. What makes the land reasonable is tabernacling. Interesting, if you, you read the original manuscript from the Greco country, even the Greco country, their financial finances, their finances is bankrupt. But interestingly, if you read the original manuscript from the Greco people, you find amazingly the translation of tabernacling. And what have we done as a nation? We are mixing up with these crazy Jews over there. They are not tabernacling. We are 40 years behind schedule. And then our president gets brainwashed to go against Iran. There is no Yah in the Prime Minister's name. He's not Yah whatsoever. It should be ST from Satan. Netn Sitnahu maybe or something? Because that's where he comes from. He does not come from Tabernacle. We've come out of the seat and we are going behind the seat. There we are. Other than understanding tabernacling, what we have received. Go against Iran. This is what we get every time we go to Israel. Either we pay or we get mixed up with the war. We get bankrupt and then we buy somebody else's fight. And we are not taxing. We already find in Cyprus bankrupt, trying to get in the Eurozone. The Soviets already extend their hands to get Cyprus on the line in exchange for their natural resources. Cyprus refused and they want to enter the Eurozone. Do you know why? Because they want to stabilize the system. They are saving their resources for the future while going in somebody else's pocket. Precisely as the Creator had stated it. And there are investors over there in Cyprus where they are from the Eurozone. 
instantly the Cyprus government nah. since we have so many of these people invest in our country let them take care of it destabilizing the system and then we United States we thought we were so smart rather than taxing as we should then we pick a fight with somebody else in dangerous country as Iran if we were smart when the creator was indicating last year we should not buy any kind of war let Israel deal with the Palestinians so then we would have a word no, we decide to purchase the war. If we had not purchased the war, we would have then invited the Chinese in the midst of the situation, and they would probably would do, be doing patrol for us. And we would retrieve it very slowly for rebuilding. No, we thought we were smart. We bought the war. We gave our money away and then we are there again in the land of Israel then picking a fight with somebody else. In Israel acting as the same scoundrels as they were for a thousand years. Understandable there was no tabernacle in a thousand years did not mean a person should not be galad or revealed. So after this strange, ridiculous visit over there, then we picked a fight with somebody else. That's why the Messiah came out of Jerusalem and he went to Mount Gerizim. There he was transfigurated. There he opened the seals. Those horsemen, those are already done. Regarding the holy cities, regarding the horses, regarding the seals, those are already open, taken care of. What we are expecting is the sounding of the shofars. And then the prophets are explaining. It's time of restoration. And what is Israel doing? Nothing. The same scoundrels as they ever were. And we decided to go over there and got ourselves again brainwashed. We are not a very smart nation. We have a lot of deal of stupidity. There is no other word. The Messiah was very clear as far as the tabernacling is concerned and even the original Greco translation explains tabernacling. Churches do not exist. Those are gathering up scoundrels. Yes, they did understand there was tabernacling around but they were not paying taxes. So they would get around speaking of the Messiah. No, they were speaking of their own dealings. But then the inspector would come around posing as a regular. Oh, got some money, I want to invest, you know. Oh, we got this deal going on, you know. We are not paying taxes to the government, so you can be part of it. Every man jack of you in jail. No, but wait a minute. Let's make a deal. We give you a hundred. Then you kind of give a ten to the government and you have ninety for yourself. Welcome to the financial institutions. Then you find Savior outside of tabernacling. Then you find another Messiah. Then you find many kinds of giving gifts, you know, gifts of the Spirit.
But we as a nation, United States, we go over there in Israel. For what reason? What is the reason? Don't we understand the land of Israel is going to be the last of being rescued? First comes the city in the land of Cush, then the seven cities of Asia Minor, then all their holy cities, and lastly, then Jerusalem. Those truly set apart, making root holy cities, Jerusalem, they're going to be doing the line or the pruning. And they have a lot of work ahead of them. Because Israel is a land of thieves, liars and scoundrels, unfortunately. And if you have a pity of them, enjoy them. This is what the Messiah said, if you are hurting for their cause, join them. The Messiah is not playing games. The Messiah said, I don't want your temple. This is what the Messiah precisely said. Do you understand that these stones of this building is not going to be a stone upon another? He said, I don't want your building. Myself, as tabernacling, got other plans. The Creator is extremely smart. We can not outsmart Him. And we are 40 years behind schedule. So if you are from the Itzayetic lineage, you should have shame on your face. Because you are behind 40 years. I don't think Israel is going to have any pity then for USA, because they won't. When the system comes, they're going to be in the system, they're going to log on, they're going to be there 24-7. They're going to get filthy rich. Then you can ask then a Jew later, do you know who USA is? No, I had no idea. Never heard of them. That's why the Messiah said, Galah 1.8 relates with the time of restoration. Then come out of them, my people, because you have a duty to do. But then the Prime Minister of Israel, as a scoundrel as he is, he measures no strength in asking for more money. He understands we are bankrupt. Not only he asked for more money, then he put us on the front line. What a nice friend, isn't it? Wouldn't you like to have a friend like this? Get your money, steal your money, and then put you on the front line. Now wait a minute. Either we are friends or... Or we are being stupid. You don't go to somebody else's country while he's stealing your money and then put it in the front line. If you do, it's because you are stupid. What did the Creator say? Said what? 
go around the world in tabernacling. Are they tabernacling? No, they are, you know, effing around. So then let's verify when, he, when our president comes back what kind of uh, mesmerization he went through because obviously he was brainwashed. You know, going up and down with any doctrine of wave of doctrine, you know, up and down, up and down, up and down. He should be at a home in our country working in our taxation system. This is what he should be doing. But then find himself over there, somebody else's land, sucking more money and then places on the front line. Stupid. Maybe there were some darker forces over there that did drag him over there, but situation is, does he understand tabernacling? Because if he did, he would not be taking trips over there. The Messiah said, I don't want your temple. Those rocks over there are cursed. Precisely what's going to be over there in the mount is going to be simply the tent. That's what tabernacle means. This is what the Creator intended. As far as we understand, those rocks over there, those are garbage. This is what the Messiah said, what you have there is garbage. What do you think does mean when the Messiah was saying, not a stone is going to be left upon another. He said, it's garbage. He was then moving on. And we have such a capable military, you know, Navy and Air Force and Army and Marines, and we don't understand taxation. Something's wrong. We've got 36 months to get our acts together and get this taxation done. We've got to get our objectives done as per the Messiah's instruction. Or we are going under. So much for then fighting a couple of world wars and then at the end, then we go underground as reptiles. Disgrace. Absolutely stupid.